Welcome back to Texel Hardware. Today we're going to be harvesting some high powered neodymium ion boron high flux magnets. Now they're high powered for their tiny little uh, squat form factor and they're also highly, highly directional. The first step in the process is to take out the T5 tamper torx tool and mount it in the screwdriver and go to town on taking apart the top cover. And the top cover comes off pretty easily. You just unscrew all six screws that are visible on the outside and then you will notice after you're done with those it won't come off. There's a seventh screw that is actually located underneath the label. All you have to do is peel back the label and uh, you'll see that screw. All you've got to do is continue using your T5 tool that's still in your screwdriver and once that's out just lift off the cover very gently and carefully and you can for the first time see the insides of your hard drive and the beautiful mirror finish that is on your hard drive platters as well as all the other components including the uh, hard drive magnets and uh, motor assembly for the arm and actuator motor. As you can see, this hard disk drive has only one platter, and as such, only has one uh, read-write head assembly located on the bottom of the armature, which has a read-write head for both the top surface and the bottom surface of the platter itself. If we reach over here, I'll pull out yet another actuator arm assembly that I removed from another hard drive that had failed me also recently and I had also diagnosed. Uh, this read-write arm has two sets of read-write heads on it at the ends of the arm itself because it had two drive platters in this particular hard drive. And as you'll see in a moment here, you can see that there are two hard disk platters that were in that drive casing as well. That's one of the main differences between the, the last one and this one. What we're going to do next is apply power to the drive and uh, let's see how it performs with the case open. And as you can see, it is horrendously messed up. It is scratching the hard drive platter as the read-write heads move across the surface of the platter itself. Uh, this is a classic case of actuator arm or actuator motor failure. What's happening here is it's suffered some shock damage of some kind. The parts are bent and are not positioned properly and so the actuator arm is making the drive head form contact with the drive platter and that's that horrible screeching noise that you're hearing. So right now as it's sitting here spinning it is scoring the hard drive and corrupting the data and this is exactly what you do not want to do when you have a drive that you want to try to recover data from. Here's a closer look at the other actuator arm that has gotten damaged from shock damage so you can see a closer view of what it looks like. Also here on this attached little board is the pin grid array that connects the control board to the actuator arm motor.
important note, I used a T5 tool to remove the actuator arm head parking guide, which is uh, that little white block that you saw that, that I removed. Alright, so in the case of this particular drive being taken apart, and the diagnosis was the, the hard drive actuator arm assembly is what had failed in it. However, it does not look like the damage was all that extensive to the platter, so in that case, at least some of the data could have been recovered from a data recovery specialist center in a clean room, in a proper environment, with all the proper tools in this situation. However, I didn't need to do that since I never keep all my data only on one drive. I'll just get it off of one of my backup drives, replace this one, and we're back in business. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this content, then consider a subscription so that you stay currently updated with all future releases from Texel Hardware. Also, feel free to send me an email or a Steam invite. I love to play games with people.